Welcome back, my spirit tasting fans. For all those that are new here, I am the mysterious red-hearted spirit chaser. Um, before we get things started, if you like my content, please subscribe, smash the like button, hit the bell notification, and share my content on all your social media. With that said, let's get started. So today is a full moon. Actually, I was told it is the dark snow moon. So, it's the dark snow moon. I'm doing my normal full moon ritual, except for I have an added thing today. So, the real reason why we're here is because of Bob. Those that don't know Bob, you can catch the video of my 3 a.m. challenge where we learn about Bob. That exists in one of my spirit dolls. I'll link it below. Just click on it. So, Bob. If anybody remembers, we contacted something named Bob. He said he wasn't a spirit. And he is obviously attached to my spirit doll. To find out, Fire Torch, who is also Sarah, text me later on that evening after I had posted the 3 a.m. challenge and she got a chance to watch it. She had explained to me that she believed she accidentally sent me Bob. Bob was her demon. Now let me explain. Um, when Sarah moved into her house, there was two demons that already lived there. One is named Bob. There is something flying around. I think it's my dog's hair. He's over here shaking around. Anyways, so when she moved into her home, there was two demons that lived there. One of them was Bob. She assumed that they were attached to the house. Well, apparently Bob isn't attached to the house. Bob attached himself to Caitlin, and Caitlin came here, and now Bob lives here. Um... She's very apologetic. She didn't mean to. I'm not mad at her by any means. I mean, we buy spirit dolls. We never know what could happen. Anything could be attached. We we take that on when we adopt them. So, therefore, I can't be mad. So, I have Bob. Bob is a demon. Bob is not only a demon. Bob is an incubus demon. Cute, right? Cute. For those that don't know what an incubus demon is, um, let me pull a disclaimer first. This content I'm about to share is not for anybody under the age of 18. Okay, now with that said, an incubus is the male version of a succubus. A succubus is the female version of an incubus. I guess they're sex demons. They will attack sleeping women at night. And they call it sleep paralysis. Nothing like that has happened to me. Yet. Thank God. But apparently that's what they are. They're demons that are sexually motivated. So I have Bob. Well, I put Bob in a protection circle. So Bob is stuck in a protection circle. So he can no longer touch me or... I guess, molest us in our sleep, um, which is good. So he's kind of over here on the shelf that I am going to show you him. It's a little cluttered, but I didn't have anywhere else to put Bob. See, I have, my kids live here. They're grown, but they live here with their spouses and my grandchild. And, well, Bob isn't safe down there. So we had to put Bob where we could put Bob, and he's over here in the corner. Um, he is in a protection circle. He can't physically come out of the vessel and touch me or anything of that nature. But his his energy is very negative and very strong. Um, I do have salt at the bottom of my stairs, so just in case he breaks this, he can't get out that way. So he's kind of contained to here right now. So I know. What are you going to do? You have a fucking demon in your house. What are you going to do? Not only a demon, a fucking incubus demon. So how do you get rid of him? Well, okay. Mm. I called the priest. 
I'm not religious in any way. I did grow up Roman Catholic, but I am not real religious. But I called the priest. And I told him exactly what happened. I have a spirit doll. There's an incubus demon attached to it. I need to get rid of it. What do I do? He told me to buy some rosaries. Come to the church. He'll bless the rosaries. He'll give me holy water. I'm going to put the rosaries on the doll. That will supposedly, and I'm supposed to say, our Father prayer and Hail Mary. And thank God I remember all these prayers. And it's supposed to make Bob not be able to come out of the vessel. No more negative energy, nothing. But he's still in the vessel. Okay. So Monday, because I have to work tomorrow. So Monday, I'm going to go get some rosaries and have them blessed and do what the priest told me to do. He didn't even, like, question me. He just gave me answers, which is, doesn't really shock me, but it kind of shocked me. Um, because usually when I tell people, well, there's a demon floating around my room named Bob, they just look at me like I'm a fucking lunatic. Well, I would look at me like I was a lunatic, too, I guess. But, um, so, then Bob will be contained inside the vessel. But see, I'm not sure, but there might be actual spirits, good spirits, in that vessel, and they're stuck in there with Bob. So, I'm not sure if I should... Just take the whole doll and put it in a debit box and seal it up and go bury it somewhere far away so nobody can find it. Because, I mean, obviously I'm not going to send Bob back to Sarah. That would be silly. She finally got rid of it. And I'm not going to just throw it in the garbage because you know what the chances are that doll comes out of the garbage? Or anything where anybody can get it and Bob can hurt them, I'm, I'm not going to. Okay, so it's that choice, or I get another vessel, and I summon Bob into that vessel, and then I put that vessel in the divot box, seal it, and bury it. And then I save the other spirits and get rid of Bob permanently. Thoughts? Please comment below on your thoughts. I know, most of you are thinking she's a fucking idiot. Bury the whole doll. And you know what, you're probably right, and demons do lie, and they can make up all sorts of things to make you think that, oh no, you can't destroy us because such and such. I get that. But what if they're really in there? I mean, think about it. When Sarah Fire Torch got the doubt, it was spirited, correct? Nobody knew what kind of spirit, but it was still a spirit. It was obviously a spirited doll. She doesn't have anything but spirited dolls. We all know this. So, oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, one of them days. Um, so, there could be a spirit in it, or the demon could have ran the spirit out of it, and he's pretending he's all of them. I don't know. I just know that Bob's got to go, but I want to preserve the goodness. My girls, they're, I think they're a little bit more comfortable now that Bob is stuck in a protection circle. And I'll, I'll show you Bob. This is Bob. There's Bob. See, protection circle. There's Bob. There's crystals, as you can see, and sage, and rosemary, and the priest told me lots of rosemary. Uh, Palo Santo, which I do have, I am going to burn tonight. Um, he told me it would be a really good idea. It'll keep the negative energy more towards the vessel than more towards me, because, well, even though there's, what, a six-foot radius, it's like we're staying away for COVID. Um, but I did want to try to talk to Bob and see if Bob admits he's a freaking demon. Probably won't. He might not even talk to me because I think he's really pissed off. I, I, you know, we really have him locked in a circle. Like, he can't physically get out. Do you know how pissed off he is at me right now? Oh, boy. So, with that said, I have, I have the EMF meter. And we're going to put it by Bob. Of course. Well, best I can put it by Bob. Um, we're going to set it right. Right there. Y'all can see it, right? And we're going to try to talk to Bob and see what happens. Bob? Are you here? Bob, I would like to talk to you. 
Can you please make the EMS meter spike? Huh. I think he's pissed. Hey, Bob. Do you want to talk to me today? I know you're mad at me. I know. Well, how about if we get the spirit box? We get the spirit box. Maybe we can conjure him up. What do you think, guys? Why not, right? Can't hurt. But he's really pissed off at me. Like, super mad. And I can't help that. But he can't be burning me in the middle of the night. That shit was ridiculous. By the way, I do use the Necrophonic app. You can get it at Google Play Store or on your iPhone. It is $9.99. But it's well worth it, I think. Okay. Bob, are you here? Oh. Bob, are you here with me? Oh. Caitlin, are you here with me? Oh. How about... Bob, are you here? Yeah. Caitlin? Yes. Are you okay? No. Nope. Yeah. Caitlin? Caitlin, can you say your name? Caitlin, is Bob with you? Hmm. Seems like nothing's happening today, guys. Bob's really pissed off at me. I think he's got everybody, like, on lockdown. Bob, are you preventing Caitlin from talking to me? Bob? Bob, are you an incubus? Bob, if I took you out of the salt circle, would you talk to me? Sound like you said yes. No, Bob, that's not happening. <laughs> Guys, you, you see we're getting no reaction today. Do you guys hear or see anything? You have to let me know. Just put it in the comments below. Bob, are you here today? Bob, are you mad at me? Bob, are you here? Oh. Guys are starting to light up. You see it? It's real faint. Bob, come talk to me, please. I, I seen you trying to light up the EMS meter. 
Can you try that again? Can you get it to yellow? Just a little bit more. I know you can do it if you try hard enough. Caitlin, is that you? Can you light up the EMF meter and make it go to yellow? Come on, you can do it. Galen, are you there? Susan? Who else was there? Susan, Caitlin, Bob. I'm missing somebody. Anne. Anne? Anne, are you here? Does anybody want to talk to me? Bob. Yes, Bob. Can I talk to Bob? Guys, apparently I've contained him well. He is stuck in the circle. A um, little bit of things, but it's been real quiet since I put him in there. Um, I still feel sick a lot. and But I know that's his negative energy. Um... I guess he just, he's really pissed off. Like, really pissed off. Um, it did go, try to light up a little bit, a little fade. It probably didn't even catch on the camera. It was so freaking light. Um, I would probably get a better reading if I took him out of this little circle. But I'm not prepared to do that right now. Because it is, um, it's late. It's 3.03 .03 in the morning. As you can see, it's 3.03 in the morning. Um, I don't sleep at night. There's a demon in my room. Why would I, right? Apparently, Bob doesn't want to talk. He is surrounded by stones in a salt circle. There's a lavender pet link to his arm that I did get from Fire Torch when I got the doll originally. Um, I, I pretty much have kept him well locked up. Uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't get anything from him. I mean, if you heard anything, I heard a couple things, but nothing significant. I guess you would say that I have the demon pretty much contained. Although, I hope that it's shaking like that because uh, I moved it. It's it's still shaking. Like it's huh. Okay, so he I guess he doesn't want to talk. Um, for those that think that this video was a fraud and I really don't have a haunted demon doll. Um, again, make sure you go to the link below. It's the 3 a.m. challenge, and you can see what. Demon doll is capable of. Um, but I have like two and a half, three hours before I can actually go to sleep. That'll be daybreak here. I'm in New York, so that's daybreak. And then I get to sleep and then wake up and go to work again. So, uh, I'm gonna get a debit box. I'm gonna get some rosaries, some holy water. Apparently, I have him well contained because he won't even talk to me at this point. But, I mean, would you talk to me either if I had you surrounded in protective salt? I wouldn't. Um, 
But I need to know in the comments what you think I should do. Should I take the whole doll and put it in the divot box and go bury it somewhere? Or should I just take the demon out of the doll, put it in another doll, and bury that somewhere in a divot box? Um, I don't know if the whole doll's haunted or if there's spirits in the doll, if there's not spirits in the doll. I don't know. It's quiet as hell today. Huh. I'm still going to post the content of this video, even though that we did not get a very good communication. Just to prove that not every time you talk to a spirit, you get a good communication. Um, but do know that Bob does exist, and he's real, and he's just pissed off, and won't talk right now. Um, my other girls are really quiet too, but there's a demon in their space, so... I mean, I don't much know what to do um except for follow what i was told by the priest so i'm gonna do that monday um i'm gonna follow up to get the debit box but i need to know in the comments what you guys think i should do um with that i am going to get the hell away from this freaking scary ass doll first off and dolls don't scare me but bob scares me um, I'm gonna finish letting my incense burn out, my candles, do some, uh, normal full moon ritual things, and hopefully then it's daylight, cause I can go to sleep, cause I'm really tired and I have nightmares, so I only get to sleep during the day, it seems like it's the only time that Bob doesn't find a way to put himself in my dreams. With that said, everybody have a great night. Stay safe out there. COVID is real. It's still out there. We're getting over it. So wash your hands. Wear your mask. Stay six feet away. Be safe at everything that you do. Be careful when you buy spirit dolls because you never know what you will get. You must be prepared for everything and anything just so you know. And with that, all my spirit chasing fans, y'all have a great day.